Hello and welcome you guys to the new video about the gamma function and its relationship to the sinus function. And you might think, what? Sinus function? Gamma function? They are related? Are you kidding? Actually, this is very surprising what will happen. And in order to de derive this stuff, we will need the Gauss representation of the gamma function because it's the easiest way I know to derive this. So what we will do is we will take the Gauss representation of the gamma function as this limit stuff n to the s here the s and here is the product over i and here i 1 plus s to the i. Remember I told you in the last video that we could actually take out this i and later on we will also just cancel this out. Now we are not only using this gamma of s but we will also plug in minus s. You will see why soon. Okay, we plug this in, minus s will give you n to the minus s here and minus s and in this product uh, thing here we get minus s over i. Now, what can we do with that? So, if you are looking at this n to the minus s, n to the s, we would multiply this stuff together then they would cancel and we will do that. We will just multiply both formulas and add as both limits are existing, we can take them together. Okay, we know that both limits are existing, we can take them together, and we get n to the s multiplied with n to the minus s over s over minus s. So this is the stuff here. And then we get this product. I canceled the i's out of here because we don't need them. And here in the denominator we get one plus s over i, one minus s over i. Okay? And this is looking cool, doesn't it? Uh, first of all, we can just take these both and cancel them. So we only have 1 over s multiplied with minus s. And I will do another trick. I will multiply this minus s to the left-hand side. Okay, so I only have 1 over s. I can do that because minus s is not part of the limit. And here I will, for this part, I will use the uh, binomial formula for the plus minus case so we get 1 minus s squared over i squared okay let's have a look at this wow we did this and this part here is the last trick that I want to use uh, just before we get to the final formula gamma of minus s multiplied with minus s okay if you look at the functional equation of the gamma function then uh, plug in minus s the functional equation was gamma s plus 1 equals s multiplied with gamma of s. If you plug in minus s, then you will get gamma of 1 minus s. And this is actually what we are doing, because this stuff is equal to uh, gamma of 1 minus s. So just uh, read the, or better, plug in minus s for the, uh, in the functional equation, and you will see that. And I take out the s to the left-hand side, okay? And take this limit n to infinity, so I just write it as an infinite product. And now let's examine this part and look what happens here. If you look at these values, 1, and here we are also had plus, so just plug in 1, uh, I mean 0. If you plug in 0, what will happen is that this is has a pole. Okay, for 1 minus 1, it has a pole 2. For because this i is counting them, we will always have poles at all integer numbers. And if you remember a function that has a lot of uh, zeros and infinitely many zeros, so to say, uh, there is one function very famous, the sinus function, okay? It has a pole in, not a pole, but a zero in zero, then it has a pi half and so forth not pi half, sorry, but on pi, 2 pi, and also minus pi, minus 2 pi, and so forth. And actually, one can prove this, and I will do in a separate video, I will prove this thing, that this product is actually equal to pi over the sinus function pi s. So you see, we have here pi, and if you enter 1, 2, 3, and you will see they are both having the same zeros, if we only look in the denominator, and this just concludes this lecture. We get gamma of s multiplied with gamma of 1 minus s 
is equal to pi over sine pi s. Okay. Now, the, the only part that I didn't prove uh, was this part, but I will prove in a separate video like I told you. And if you want to see my videos, please subscribe because there are many, many other awesome videos coming um, in which I will try to explain you all the interesting, uh, more complex functions of the of analysis. Okay, and that concludes the lecture. See you guys.